All right, our Ask a Question discussion board is done. Let's go and make a graded discussion board. I'm going to right click on the Canvas course menu where it says Discussions and open link in a new tab. That way you can easily come back here and grab these resources. So in our new discussion tab, I'm going to click on the plus discussion button. And for topic title, I'm going to say week 10 memory. Week 10, so that students know when in the schedule of weeks is this taking place and the focus being on memory. In terms of the directions, I'm going to just copy and paste them in. I wrote them out earlier. When we have a discussion board, uh, the typical format is a student makes an initial post, typically by deadline early in the week, and then other students uh, make replies, uh, typically by the end of the week. One of the drawbacks of the discussion board is there's never a guarantee that the student will ever see who replied to them or what they had to say. So in that way, it can be a little bit artificial. But there are students who like to come back and see who replied to them. And of course, you, the instructor, will see the replies. And other students looking at the discussion board coming in later will see the initial post and replies. So that's the, the typical format. There are variations that can be made to it. For this example, the student goes out and finds an interesting resource to share with their fellow students. Uh, it could be a, a link to a movie trailer focusing on memory, since that's the topic of this chapter, or it could be a link to a web page focusing on study techniques in terms of how do you get that important information into your memory. Uh, and then they get to share like how is it relevant to them, connecting it to the course material. Uh, and then in terms of the replies, uh, the students are asked, hey, take a look at what your fellow students have done, right? I mean, that's one of the benefits of this particular format is where we go off and find resources and bring them together. So we get to see more things that are out there uh, that otherwise a student might not have encountered. Uh, also, I have in here, your initial post is due by Wednesday of week 10. By Saturday of week 10, reply to two other students. Uh, note that only students whose initial post was made by the, and I should say here, Wednesday, I, change those deadlines so by the when the state deadline uh, are eligible to earn uh, credit for the uh, discussion and the reason why I'm saying this is if they didn't post by the Wednesday deadline then when the students go to make their replies they don't get to see a student present so students are counting on one another so I'm seeing that first deadline really important you got to make that initial post so the flow of the course works. All right, so we have a, a discussion uh, board, but we don't have our, our, our Canvas resources, so let's include that because we're still somewhat new at this. Uh, so highlight, copy, come on back, paste, and then we can also put up here uh, week 10 memory discussion board directions. Okay, and then highlight and say that this is header four. Come on down to this stuff. Indent. And likewise, uh, let's see here, we're going to unbullet it because it didn't do a very good job of copying that bulleted list. We're going to get rid of the uh, links to external site. We're going to kind of clean this up. Now that it's cleaned up, we'll go ahead and bullet it and indent it, and we're good. Okay, options allow for 30 replies. That's important. It helps to keep everything looking good. Uh, we're also going to see if this is graded. And points possible. We'll say that it's worth 10 points. We can choose how this will display in the gradebook, either as a percentage or as points. And due date. Let's see. For the due date, I'm going to put it on Wednesday, April 1st. That is, I'm going to put it on the date that the initial post is required. Because that's the critical uh, date. Then they just got to know to come back and make that uh, final post uh, by the Saturday deadline. Okay, good, and save and publish.